Right, hi everyone, uh, this is Penn Withers. Um, just thought I'd show you what I'm doing. I'm making a start on the station canopy. Just having a little play around doing the island section of the platform here. Film with branches on the uh, Penzance down line. But, uh, uh, obviously, can't really get anything off the shelf so I thought well we'll have a make a go at, you know make a go of doing it ourselves so uh, just had some uh, plastic card cut out the shape of the roof and got uh, three mil square brass and I uh, super glued a matchstick to the plastic which fits just down inside of that just right and I'm just uh, just now putting the um, the edge perimeter section on what I intend to do is make it up make the frame up in place and uh, then hopefully be able to if my plan works lift it off and uh, paint it up so uh, a little bit of the uh, solvent uh, plaster weld stuff to stick these bits on Once it goes, it goes, uh, goes quite solid. So, uh, anything with it, got to make all your cuts fairly, uh, fairly precise. Well, as I say, so far, so good. Seems to be uh, going quite well. We'll do a run the sides down through a minute. And then I intend putting some like little corner braces in just to hopefully make it a little bit more solid. And then uh, come back to it. But I say, I'll just give you an idea, there's um, obviously, oh, where are we turn? This one, there's the mat strip, and literally that just sits down. It's only like a push fit, so uh, hopefully, when it's all stuck together, I'll be able to take it out. But uh, we'll come back to this in a minute. See you in a minute. Right, we've got, uh, got all the edges put on now on both sides. I put some corner gussets in here just to stiffen it up a bit so once that's um, hardened up I'm going to lift that off the post and then stick some plastic card on the roof which should then strengthen it up quite well um, like I say we'll uh, take that off it might be later on today and uh, perhaps tomorrow we'll show a bit more see you in a minute right there we are we've taken the uh, taken it off so, uh, Here's the section. So I'll uh, stick some plastic card on it now and uh, see how it goes. See you in a minute. Right, here we are. I'm going to just do the roof section now. Cut off some uh, strips of plastic card. I'll just join this together with some of this uh, plastic weld. Uh, quite good stuff. Just literally butt the joint up together, paint it on. This bit won't really be seen. Apply a little bit of pressure to it, and uh, say about five, ten seconds. Welded joint. A minute so I've done this strip right through we'll just uh, paint over the back edge and then that's uh, job sorted take old tag off well, that's drying out now I've stuck the uh, the other side onto this roof which is uh, 
you can see this stiffens it up quite well. Uh, I'll show you a little bit what we do here. There's uh, three and a half bits joined together. Seems to hold it quite well. We'll bring this in and drop it on. Obviously the other bit I've straightened up. Yeah, put that that way. Line that up roughly there. What we'll do is just have this solvent weld. And it works on a capillary action. Just paint it along the edge. A little bit of pressure on it. Just hold it for a second or two. And that's, uh, that's literally got it. It's just by then of trying to line these up. Do another one there in a minute. Tiny liberal amount of that. It, if it's uh, on show, you've got to be a little bit careful because it will um, like melt the plastic. But if you're doing anything fancy, just be a little bit careful with that. And like I say, about ten seconds and it's got it. So, um, brilliant stuff to use. Seems to hold really well. Uh, this end here is going to butt up against uh, another section when I do it. This is just really a practice one. And that's really all there is to it, sticking it together. I'll uh, get this all done in a minute and then we'll come back and see, uh, see what it looks like when he's done. See you in a minute. Alright, there we are. That's, uh, all the roof section or first layer stuck on so I say he's stiffened it up quite well hasn't made uh, too bad a job of it a little bit up and down but it'll all add to the character so, so what we're going to do now is um, stick this I don't know if you can see the uh, yeah, that's a better solid corrugated effect plastic card. The uh, old roof was done with uh, galvanized sheets, so that's the next job. Cut these into strips and stick those on. So we'll uh, put those on and uh, come back to you. See you in a minute. Right here we are. I'm starting to put the. Uh, Galvanized sheets on, or the as they say, the little plastic card bits. Cut those about an inch by 12 mil. Um, don't really, how can I say, play around with them too much. I like to see a bit of a gap between because time they're sprayed up makes it look a little bit more like the joints rather than putting on the full sheets. Uh, sticking it down with. Yoohoo glue, that one there, put it on, leave it two or three minutes just to tack over a little bit and uh, and just place the bits on, it's a bit of a tedious job, I've got roughly about, uh, I think about 12 feet or 10 feet of uh, these canopies to make, so I'm going to be probably busy for a month or two, but uh, before I show you sticking these on, and we'll uh, come back once I get all these stuck on and uh, show you the last bit. We'll see you in a minute. Right, here we are, there's the uh, canopy in place. Uh, just done the, I just primed it with some grey primer and then I gave it a slight wash over with some silver um, but a bit of a wishy-washy coat to give it the effect of uh, galvanised. Finished off the ends uh, 
just just along here. Done that. Uh, I got this from York Model Making. There's laser cut detail, and it was a station valance. Um, hopefully, we need to be able to see. I think it was made from a product called Rovex. Uh, it's fairly brittle, but quite a quite a good detail. The only downside is per pack, so that was enough to make 500 mil, and it took uh, three and a bit packs. So it was nearly probably about 16 quid just to do that white balance on it. But I wanted to try and get something similar, so I'm quite uh, quite pleased with the uh, effect on that. Um, and that there is about well. Uh, I got about another five sections to make like that. So, as a practice, quite pleased. Uh, I'll just run a couple of trains through, see what you think. See you in a minute. Thanks for watching, uh, comments appreciated, and uh, as they say, subscribe if you wish, and uh, as I say, bye for now.